questions. Questions are all the honorable member for Barry Innisfil. Fool's Day, but the tax hikes that went into effect um, less than 12 hours ago are no joke. This morning, Canadians woke up to higher taxes on everything from gas, groceries, and home heating because of the 25% increase in the carbon tax. Everything moved by a truck will go up as producers and wholesalers inevitably pass those costs on to families and seniors who can least afford it. Why is punishing Canadians financially at a time when they can least afford it acceptable to this NDP Liberal government? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary for the Minister of Environment and Climate Change. Well, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. I want to thank the Honourable Member. And while the opposition has been fixated on April 1st, uh, Madam Speaker, uh, on this side of the House, we've been fixated on July 15th. Do you know why, Madam Speaker? That's the date Canadian families will receive their climate action rebate checks. And they will keep receiving them, Madam Speaker, month after month after month. And as we know, uh, Madam Speaker, eight out of ten families will benefit. We're fighting climate change and delivering on affordability. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honourable Member for Barry Innisville. Not according to the PBO, but a new Ipsos poll confirms how out of touch this NDP Liberal government is with hardworking Canadians, and they applaud. We have an affordability crisis, and according to Ipsos, Canadians want a budget that addresses the cost of living crisis, not a radical, ideologically driven, activist, leap manifesto, NDP type budget that punishes families and seniors with higher costs just for eating, driving, and heating their homes. There was a time in this country, Madam Speaker, when a Liberal Party led by Jacques Chrétien and Paul Martin governed in a fiscally responsible way. What happened to that Liberal Party? The Honourable uh, Minister. Madam Speaker, the saddest April Fool's joke on Canadians today is the inability of the Conservatives to simply pick a lane. On Mondays, it's do more for seniors. On Tuesdays, it's cut CPP. On Wednesdays, it's do more for small businesses. On Thursdays, it's block C8. While the Conservatives struggle to pick a lane, Madam Speaker, we are focused on investing in Canadians and managing the nation's finances responsibly. Madam Speaker, it may be before noon, and that's no joke, because on the other side, whatever they say now, it'll change in an hour, and that's no joke. I'm sure the honourable members want to hear the answer so that they can pose another question. So I would ask members to please hold on to their thoughts. And uh, the honourable uh, official opposition house leader. No one ever imagined a time where a family or seniors would be punished financially for simply driving their car to earn a living or to visit their grandchildren. Yet gas prices are up again today because of the 25 percent hike in the carbon tax. The Liberals have a choice in the budget next week. They can be fiscally responsible, like the Chrétien Martin Liberals were, or they can continue to take their marching orders from their radical NDP partners and be completely out of touch with